Hello and welcome to an episode of Not Greg Tech. Today we will be looking at the first Minecraft world I played. This was my friend's creative world, but he decided to give it to me so I could upload it on a server. It took me literal months to find out the original files, since that computer died 5 years ago. We spawn on an island with a glass thingy on top. As I am using Minecraft 1.19, I am getting 12 frames per second, just like my old laptop. We'll begin the tour by looking at this glass structure. Originally I built this to house a dinner bone sheep. However, that got deleted after updating the server to 1.13. This is what my 12 year old friend called a house. Thankfully we were too dumb for survival mode so we only had to build it in creative. There are some chests, a bookshelf, and some other things in here. Behind the structure, there was a pig. However he has been dead since the middle of 2018, and on the other side of the structure, there's a corridor that leads to a massive cave system. This thing is ridiculously big. I remember running around the caves back then, trying to fill every single hole with a torch. I have no idea what this is for. This looks like a throne of some sort, but I built it 5 years ago and I don't remember. Meanwhile back up on the surface, there's a little sidewalk with a chicken pen. The chicken that was here died while I was porting the server over to Minecraft 1.13. And here is a railway station. The entire world is built around a giant railroad that is over 3000 blocks long. There's a little passageway under the water that leads to the main area of the world. On the other side of the island, we have a lighthouse and a big, giant wooden structure that my friend calls a hotel. And inside of this wooden structure is the terminal of the railway. It's the last stop. I don't know why, but my friend always liked building with glass. There's a glass staircase that leads to two rooms on the second floor, one for me and one for my friend. On the balcony you can see the view of the sea. I remember my mind being blown at the new 1.13 textures, but now I realize that 1.13 is not a real version. I remember writing a book or something here, but it's been lost. It's a miracle that this world somehow still exists. And here's me climbing up the lighthouse. It looks kind of stupid because it's made out of wool. There are a lot of torches over here, and a beacon. Here's a small house that I made for testing command blocks. About a hundred blocks away from that house, there's another wool structure. I have no idea what it does, but it contains several teleporting command blocks. Near the mountain, we have an arena. The command block sets you in survival mode and gives you a sword. I remember my friend trying to beat me but he never could because he had a massive skill issue. I decided to get on the railway again, so I can show you more of the world. Around the track there are several stations, but the minecart doesn't stop because I was too stupid to figure out how to make a functioning rail stop. And here there's a huge mound of dirt for some reason. Probably it's when I started experimenting with the fill command. I also accidentally deleted half of a mountain and decided to keep it that way. And here's the first underground section of the railway, leading right up to a village about 500 blocks away, and after over 3 minutes of traveling, here's the last stop, the village. I remember that there was more stuff here, maybe it's because I am using an older version of the world, but I don't think so. Around here there are just a few random structures using, you guessed it command blocks. This thing here is where I attempted to build a flying machine but I did not succeed at all. My IQ was far too low for such a task, so I decided to make this an elytra launching platform. After flying for a while, we arrive at this huge blue structure, which looks incredibly stupid. However, after further research, it is 11 year old Regen's attempt at creating the planet Neptune. It even has a cute little house in it. There are several more of these structures in the sky, they are meant to symbolize planets. By the way, around the village, I started making an area to test out the new Minecraft 1.14 beta. After loading the world on my laptop, it instantly crashed both my laptop, and the server. This is why I only play 1.12. Around the village, there's another train station, with a line that is over a thousand blocks long. 
It goes through the mountains and it pretty much does nothing. It just takes you around the landscape. I don't know why I built so much of these. At the end of the line, there is a desert, with another rail line going 700 blocks underground towards a desert temple. I never really did that much with this area, for some reason. And here we are at the temple. I decorated it a bit and added some fences and flower pots on the top floor. I thought that maybe I could have transformed this into a pyramid, or something, but I never did that much work on here. Inside of the temple, there is some kind of tombstone for something. And here I am nearly five years later doing a little trolling, outside of the temple, there are some cactuses that I put there. I was planning this area to be bigger but sadly the server kind of got shut down on October 24, 2018, and that's it for this video. There's all of the world. Even with a hundred hours played in creative mode, there's not that much to see here. But I still had fun, but this is only episode 2 of the series where I show off all of my old worlds. I have shown you guys Greg's New Horizons 2020 and Vanilla 2018. There are two more worlds that I want to show you, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe so I can bring you episode 3. And that's it for this world. But alas, it's time to go back to Greg. My job here is done, and there are so much more things to do in Greg Tech than in vanilla Minecraft. But guys don't worry because the next video is going to be quite greggy. Anyway, after 4 years, I think it's time to put this world to rest.